Travelling from Thailand to Laos is pretty simple. It was definitely not what I expected as a border crossing, but we would soon discover that Laos was not going to be anything like we had imagined. The first thing on the agenda when you come to Vientiane is finding a place to stay. Ours is pretty spacious, £22. Some of you might be thinking, God, that's blooming cheap. And some of you might be thinking, God, that's really expensive. And both of you are correct. So the second thing on the agenda is you want to find a SIM card. We went with Unitel and you also want to find an itinerary that sorts you out for the rest of the day. First stop of the day was Paxi Monument. The monument was built between 1957 and 1968. I'd love to play in that as a child. Sorry? Still am a child. Go ahead. <laughs> in I go. The monument also has the nickname the Vertical Runway. This is due to some brilliant trolling from the Laotian government. They took building supplies and cement from the Americans that was meant to go towards a new airport and instead put it straight towards this beautiful monument. New shades. Scruffy <laughs> The monument itself is really nice, but inside they seem to have tourist stalls and stuff to buy and sell, which kind of takes away from the awe of it all and just makes it a big tourist trap. Vientiane being the capital of Laos I expected to be pretty busy but compared to Thailand it's very calm. Everyone obeys the rules of the road as well which is a nice surprise. <laughs> Not as grand as we thought but we'll take it. I have a grown stupa. Chiang Mai, this is Charlie's dinner, or should I say Wednesdays, and this one's mine, great representative of me, let me show you, and this is mine, so Tuesday, yes bitch. The guy giving me this haircut spoke no English, I tried to tip him, and not having a good idea about the currency, it only ended up being 50p, so I felt worse about that. And gentlemen, we have a new man. I'm no longer homeless. <laughs> the Cop Museum is located in Vientiane, right beside a sabled hospital. The whole museum is free. The Cop Museum was generally one of my favourite things to do in Vientiane. It was so interesting, learning about how much the US has attacked this country. Are you enjoying yourself, babe? Love a bit of history. <laughs> Very informative. Facts. One of the facts that stuck with me was the fact that the US dropped 2 million tonnes of ordnance over the country. That's the equivalent to a plane load every 8 minutes, 24 hours a day, for 9 years non-stop. It's absolutely insane. You also get to see how the locals have adapted. With still thousands of cluster bombs unexploded, you see how people are blown up, how prosthetic legs are made, and everything in between. Also, you get an insight to their local life, how they make pots and pans and ladders out of shell casings, and the local term bommy used to describe unexploded cluster bomb.
<laughs> what are we doing? Stop taking We're reading some history. Let's go read some history. You piss off. How are you doing with the heat anyway? Fine. It's marvellous here. It's nice and sunny. Not too hot. Not too cold. Better oh, than Thailand. Lot. Goldilocks. Huh? Is it because I'm bronzed? There's no water. Kind of defeats the purpose of it. Never mind. Win some, you lose some. Thailand. Lao. Thailand. Lao. And also, if you're thinking, Rosie, is that a new bag? Uh, yes, it is. Look at my new bag like 10 quid bargs mate prior to coming to vntn a lot of people told us it's not worth coming because there's not much to do here however rosie and i really enjoyed the city there's lots of small coffee shops it feels a little bit hipstery and up and coming it's super clean and although we've done everything in a day you could definitely spread it out save your legs and do it over a couple of days don't miss out on the city just because it's small it's definitely got loads to do i made a friend and as always thank you for watching and if you liked it please give us a like